Welcome to Shas Illuminated. Please enjoy the following shear. We are beginning tonight's shear in Simen Tafresh Chavtes. We are in the middle of Sif Yud Tes. We are on the last line of page 180. We're up to the Viyesh Omrim. But let's just review what we discussed in the last shear, and that is the Mechaber in the beginning of Sif Yud Tes told us if you spread a sheet over the schach to block out the sun, or you spread a sheet underneath the schach to catch the falling leaves or wood chips, so the sukkah is puzzled. Then the Mechaber said, but if you only spread the sheet out for decorative reasons for noy, then it's kosher as long as it's within four tfacham of the schach. So the Mechaber was not mechalic any details, just if you put the sheet over or the sheet under, if it's not for decoration, it's going to be puzzled. And now we begin the V'yesh Omrim, as we turn on to page Tadi'al of V'yesh Omrim, there are those who say this is the sheet of Rabbi Nutam, and tells us that Yud in Sukkah, a sukkah that is properly schacht, the yore shema yivash haschach, and you worry that maybe the schach will dry out, or yishu ha'olin, or the leaves will fall down, the tiach hamosa miruba mitzilasa, you're afraid you'll lose your status of more shade than sun, and it will turn out to be more sun than shade. Uperas alah asad and shalotis yabesh, and therefore you spread a sheet out in order that it should not dry up. O tachtel, or underneath it, shalu yishu ha'ol, and the leaves shouldn't fall down. Kevan sha'asodun goreim shal yodol tzilasa miru mechamosa. Since it's only through the sheet that you are causing the sukkah to remain tzilasa miru mechamosa, psula, that's going to be when it's possible. Avalim lo kivim, the priest says, ha'asodun elu lahogim ipne ha'chama, the ha'olun, olun ha'usuk sheira. But according to the shita, if your only kavana in spreading out the sheet is not to save the status of more shade than sun, it's only to protect you from the sun or from the falling leaves or to beautify it, it's going to be kosher. So this sheet is much more lenient than the first sheet. The first sheet is said if you're having it to block out the sun or to catch leaves, it's possible no matter what. Here we see in this sheet that it's only possible if it's to block the sun or catch the leaves if through that it's remaining more shade than sun. But if you're just doing a stam, it's going to remain more shade than sun no matter what. You're just trying to block out the sun that's in your eyes or the leaves that are annoying you. So then it's just like doing it for decoration. It's going to be kosher. In all the cases, it has to be that the sheet is within four tfachim of the shkach. The Chachila, one should not put a sheet at all unless it is recognizable to all that your kavana is for protection. Oshu shari b'mayim, or if the sheet is soaked in water, sha'az nikr lakol she'enu shot cholsham el yavish. And then it's recognizable to everyone that it's only there to dry out and it's not there for schach reasons. Let's see the Mishabura beginning in Sivkata Nun Heg. Yesh Om Shesukha. Deyazo pliga adem me'ikara. This shita argues with the first shita usvirola and holds. Demadi isa ba misha. That which the misha says in sukkah peras alah sadim ibn achama that you put out a sheet because of the sun. Hainu ba'ofen shetzir lakamei dafka. Dafka in the scenario that is presented here in the mechaber. That otherwise you will lose the shade. Ava lahogin min achama. But to protect you from the sun, the ha'olin, and from the leaves, k'shera afilu leishev tachta, the sukkah's kosher, even to sit underneath it, to bottle hu lagabe sukkah, because it's bottle to the sukkah. Now, if you look in the, in the Sharetzion over here, Ayin Ches, he says, Hainu afshe asadin hoya gamkin al yodot silosa meru mechamosa. The mashmos over here, the second sheet of the mechaber, is even if the sheet is more shade than sun, it's still going to be okay if it's over the sukkah that's more shade than sun, as long as it's not there to retain the more shade than sun in the schach, it's just to protect you from the sun. The post can ask a kasha from over here, from the Simit Tafresh Chavav, we're talking about under a tree, where we said straight up that if there's a tree that's more shade than sun over a sukkah, it passes the sukkah no matter what. Even if the sukkah was there before the tree, so once you have a tree that's more shade than sun, it passes no matter what. And over here we're saying that if the sadin is more shade than sun, it still could be kosher as long as the sadin is not protecting the shadiness of the schach. If it's just there 
to keep the sun out of your eyes or to catch the leaves. We said it's fine, even though the satin is more shade than sun. Why is that different than the case that we had earlier in Tov Reish? Chavav, that if the tree is more shade than sun, it's possible no matter what. So, V'ayim b'bachu b'agos marlach shadochu atman bazer. The bach and the marlach try to answer up and say that there's a chiluk. That over here when there's just sheet over it, since it's there to serve a purpose of the person, keeps the sun out of your eyes, the annoying leaves from falling down, then it's going to be okay even if the sadden is more shade than sun, because it's like doing it for decoration, it's doing it to benefit the person. Masha'en came when it's under a tree, so there's no benefit to the person, so be'etzim if the tree is more shade than sun, it will pass off. That's the answer of these achronim. The says that because of this, the Mechaber was so slim earlier, like the first sheet, like the sheet of Rashi, that even if the the sheet is there for the benefit of the person, it's possible no matter what, if it is more shade than sun, once you have a sad in there, whether it's to keep the sun out of your eyes or lose some falling, it's going to be possible. That will make the Mechaber consistent. Because of this, the base mayor comes out, that we go like the first sheet, again, like Rashi, to make the Mechaber consistent with what he said in Tafresh Chavav. They don't agree with that chiluk that we just mentioned from the Bach. Let's go right to the Mishiburas, they've caught a nun vav, aval im lo kivin. But, as we just said in the Mechaber, if you were not Mechavin, to keep the shade uh, more shade than sun by having the sheet there, it's just to keep the sun out of your eyes, and it's going to be okay. Pirish, if it was properly schacht in such a way that there's no concern, we're not worried that through the falling leaves it's going to become more sun than shade. And you only needed to put up the sheet to protect your eyes from the sun. Omen ha'olen ha'noshim to protect you from the leaves that are falling. Nothing to do with the kashas of the sukkah, just because of an annoyance. So then the sheet to hold that it is kshera. The sukkah is going to be totally fine. Sefkot and Zayin goes in that which the Mechaber said, but however you want to make a nicker that you're not doing it for the wrong reason, so the Chachilu you shouldn't do it unless it's recognizable. We want to make sure that people who see you putting the sheet there are going to understand that your kavana is not to do it for schach purposes, which is a problem. Even not at the time that you're eating, it's going to be asr. If they see you putting the sheet there, even when you're not eating, the passerby is going to think that you put it there when you're eating as well. We want it to be recognizable that your kavana is just to protect you and not to protect the schach. Zeu rach ledasa yesh omrim. This is only true according to the second sheet of the yesh omrim shehizkir b'tchila that we just mentioned. Avaladeya rishona, but according to the first sheet, af boven ze aser. Again, like we said before, according to the first sheet, even if it's there not to protect the schach, it's just there to protect the person. It's going to be aser. There's no chilak once the sheet is there. For any blockage of the sun or the falling leaves, it's going to be possible. The ayin of Baralacha, the chain yesh lahachmer lemaisa, the Baralacha brings down, is that the way, that's the way we should be machmer lemaisa like the first shita. The chain kosvu habach ushare achronim, that's the bach and the other achronim bring down as well. Mikomakom b'shas atchak, but still, in any case, in a pressing situation, shalo yocho lecho basukah yidei ha'olun hanoshim otocha machal. If you're posh and not able to eat in your sukkah because of the leaves that are falling into your food, or yidei gishomim hanotfim, or because of the rain that's dripping down, or yidei haruach shemechab haneros, or because of the wind that's blowing out the candles, mutav lifro sodin tachas haschach. It's better to spread out a sheet under the schach. Betoch arbo tfachim. Within for tfachim, like the second shita, mishiyocha chutz la sukkah, rather than going outside the sukkah. Havalo yavarech al zel isha basukkah, but in that case, when you do have the sheet there, for any kind of protection of the person, you should not make a brach of isha basukkah, since the ikr shita is the first shita. Beshaz atchak, we can rely on the second shita and put the sheet there and still eat in the sukkah. Now, if you look at note 41, it points out, V'chein lifros kisei mi plastic, me'alu mitachas l'schach b'shas, you read this like a shalom, so too to spread out a plastic on top or below the schach while it is raining, the Shevet HaLevi writes, Shiroi lastos kain. It is proper to do this through l'hamshech l'hashevet v'sukkah and to continue eating in the sukkah. 
Sha'afal Pishto, Meneo, who has Knesset like a Shalom, Lasukul Gamri, even though I put in the Shita, you're preventing the rain from coming in totally. Mikomakom, Enu Choma, Yosem, Misad, and it's no more Choma than we're saying over here in the Machaber and the Meshavura from the Shit. The Chain Mashma, Bishalam, Shivas, Igras Moshe, so too it is Mashma from Rav Moshe. Meidah, on the other hand, Midivri Amogin Avram, from the words of the Magad Avram that are brought over here in the Meshavura, Shekhaza that he writes, Lifro Sadin Kedei Lohogi and Bifnei Gisham Hanotfim. He says to spread out a sheet to protect from the rain that's dripping in. The low cost of Shapore is also Bishas Hagashamim. The Diok is that the Magad Avram doesn't say that you put it out during the rain. It's just from the dripping of the rain. So Daiku Achach Mashlomo and the Pischa Zuta Shebishas Ridas Hagashamim Mamish. That if it's really raining at that time, Einu Mekayim Mitzvah Yeshiva Sukkah. If you cover it on top or below the strach with the sheet or with the plastic, you will not be Yotze, you will not be Mekayim Mitzvah Sukkah. Afim Yoshev Tacha Sadin Ve'enu Mitzvah Yeshiva So even if you're sitting under the sheet and you're not Mitzvah and you're sitting there, V'chein Mavur V'tzavnas Paneach. She Bishas HaGeshomim HaSukkah Einu Nachshav HaSukkah. They hold that at the time of the rain. That's the Dirk in the Magan Avram, only if the water is dripping down after the rain. But the Shas the Gishamim, the Sukkah is not considered a Sukkah. The Aptur Mila Sheves Bo, who lo rak mishum mitzta'ir. The Aptur of sitting in the Sukkah when it's raining is not only a Aptur of mitzta'ir, it's a Aptur that the Sukkah is not a Sukkah. Omna Medivri Aposkim Shehuvu Bidvarenu, Le Kamba Nirish Eindaitam Kach, from other posts that we'll see later, it's Mashman, not that way. So here we have a Machlokas. And they say the Mashmos of the Mugan Avram that the Mishavura brings down is only when the rain is dripping. But not Bishas Gisham, Deil Bishas Gisham, it's no good. And Rav Moshe is Mashma. And then Shevet Levi writes straight up, that even in Bishas Gisham, you should put up a plastic and you should continue eating inside the sukkah. At least you could be Mekayim, the second sheet over here. But Rav Adlak, the Mishavura says, according to everyone, you would not make a bracha of Leisha Basukkah because the Iker sheet, as the Mishavura told us, is sheet number one, which is the sheet of Rashi. Let's see the last Mishabura in the Simon Sivkotan Nuntas. We said, or if the sheet is soaked with water, then automatically it's recognizable from all who see that it's being spread out to dry out. So then it will be okay. I am the Be'alocha, the Lefi Masha is Kimu Achronim. Look in the Be'alocha that according to what the Achronim agree, the Yesh Lahachmir Kadea Rishona, that one should be Machmir like the first Shita, Yesh Lizor Shalifro Safivu Liyabesh Elo Shalobeshas Achilu. What should be careful not to spread it out, even if it's just to dry it out, except in a case where it's not when you are eating. At the time when you're eating, one should be machmir. That concludes Simit Tafresh Chavtes, the Lachas of the Schach, and Mirza Shem. And the next year we'll begin the Lachas of the Fano, Simit Tafresh Lamid. You have been listening to a shear from ShasIlluminated.org. For other shear on many topics, or to hear an Eon shear on any daf in Shas, including Myra McClaimus on each shear, please visit www.shasilluminated.org. To order CDs or for more information, please call 203-312-SHAS. That's 203-312-7427. Or email info at shasilluminated.org.